up world it's your girl Gigi coming at you with another video this is Halloween today is Halloween and it is cold raining we got a mix between fall and winter today y'all and your girl is sipping on some warm tea that's right y'all my throat been scratchy nose been running but I had to eat and I had to do a video. So we got a couple things tonight. Couple of my favorites. And this is something, you know, I eat a bunch of chicken, y'all. I try not to eat a whole lot of red meat, but I love it. But when you eat a lot of chicken, you got to get creative. So tonight I have a boneless, skinless chicken breast. And it's topped with lemon, butter, and dill. Oh, it's so good, y'all. I can't wait to dig in. Then I have a few candy yams and a few collard greens and some potato cakes. Old-fashioned potato cakes, y'all. Oh, my God. I really can't wait to dig in. I had my light off for the longest so I could try to divert the Halloween traffic because... I just, I just don't get into all that candy. It's like these kids come around and they won't stop coming. About 11 o'clock, you start passing out candy. I just never have done it because people are so picky. Um, they go through the kids' candy. They throwing away half of it. So that, that candy is expensive. I don't want nobody throwing away my money. That's right. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I just do not. I just do not celebrate Halloween because I have some terrifying stories. Growing up, growing up, we tried to go trick-or-treating once or twice, and oh my God, oh my goodness. The first time we felt we found things actually in the candy. The second time my uncle let us go out, we found stuff they were giving out fruit back in the 70s that's right y'all fruit and you said we shouldn't have took it but what what was we gonna do give it back no so what we did is we had to take it home and my uncle arthur he would inspect it so after that it was no trick-or-treating for us he would buy us candy place it in bowls send it place it around the house and we can go around and eat as much candy as we want the week of. And on the night of, he would cook us food, everything that we love, so that we won't worry about going out trick or treat. We had our candy at home. He would cook us all kind of food to keep us from worrying about being out there with the rest of the kids. So our uncle, he did whatever it took to make us happy. That's right. He would make up things. He would make homemade stuff. Whatever it took to make us happy. And back then, I had no idea I, I had a gluten intolerance. But I have always had issues with my stomach. So tonight, these potato cakes are bringing, out, bringing back great memories. Because Uncle Arthur would get in that kitchen and he would bake everything from scratch. He didn't believe in canned goods at all. People talk about collecting canned goods for, for um, emergencies in case something happened. He like, mm -mm. everything fresh, everything fresh, everything fresh. That was my Uncle Arthur. Shout out to my Uncle Arthur and Aunt Mill because these are the kind of meals that we receive. No TV dinners. Mm, 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 mm. That's why I love a good meal right now today. So this meal is, is a pretty good one. It's, it'll be kind of filling. I'm getting to a point where I can't eat as much as I used to so i have to eat several meals per day to make up for it but this lemon butter lemon butter deal it's delicious you got to get creative y'all in order to be creative you have to plan and prepare i tell you on this channel all the time you have to plan prepare and lay your menu out if you want to stay on your gluten-free diet, you have got to plan and prepare. And so this meal, 
I marinated the day before, popped it in the oven when I came in. By the time you get out the shower, it's ready. Mm. It's good. Really, really good. You can always buy uh, the slow cooker liners, add it to your slow cooker, place water underneath it, place your greens in, season it, cover it, and prepare your greens right there. And you can do that overnight or you can do that while you're at work. They have timers on the... Uh, Bluetooth timers on slow cookers now. You can cut it off from work. There's no reason that you can't get this stuff done. I'm into gadgets. I don't mind buying them because I'm going to use them. At some point, I will use it. Everything I buy, I will use it at some point. Look at the potato case, y'all. Like, if you haven't already liked the video, subscribe to the channel and share this. Share this with your co-workers, your friends, your family, somebody you know that have a gluten intolerance if you just want to share it. It's a very good diet to go by even if you have things such as eczema. If you have eczema, it will help with your breakouts if you cut the gluten out. I told you, my, my honey, he's allergic to citrus and he also has eczema. I'm allergic to citrus, raw citrus, not cooked citrus, but raw citrus and gluten. So when I started my gluten-free journey, he had just found out that he had aggressive eczema. And as long as he followed my diet, he's fine. I know when he's eating what he wants. He's sneaking and eating out in the streets because he had breakouts. And when he have them, he can't hide them. There's, there's no way to hide it. So I catch him all the time. And he goes, oh, that's just something that I had a couple weeks ago. Or he'll say, oh, I was in the sun. I had too much sun exposure. I know when the little birdie is eating more than he's supposed to eat. So you can just try it. Like I tell you all the time on this channel, this is my journey. I will share my experiences with you. I will share product reviews with you. I will prepare meals and show you how to use some of these products. It's just, it's just that simple. Just stay tuned to the channel mm. because we're growing and we're, we're going to be doing more as we grow. And one thing that we're going to continue to do is eat good. Anybody that knows me can tell you, I eat good. If I don't do anything else, I'm going to eat good. I don't do a whole lot of social, but I eat good. Yes, I eat good. And this lemon butter chicken breast is all right with me. Get some greens. Greens. You got to eat your vegetables, y'all. You got to get your vegetables in. One of the easiest way to keep your diet is to prepare the things that you love. Don't make boring meals. Because if I eat greens, I must have yams. If I eat dressing, I must have potato salad. If I eat oxtails, I've got to have rice. There's just some things that go together, and I must have them. Y'all, this weather change is making your girl sick. 
I'm starting to have the sniffles. I'm drinking hot tea. Remember I told you I never drink anything cold with my food. Oh, gosh, this tastes so good. I'm drinking throat, throat coke by traditional medicine. And yes, it does not contain any gluten ingredients. You have to check everything. Your drinks, your condiments, your spices. You have to use that gluten-free scanner. Remember the gluten-free scanner? I said, download your gluten-free scanner so you can check everything that you buy. It's a wonderful tool to have. I can't go shopping without it. Mm, it's so good. Ooh. There's nothing like having a good home cooked meal. It's nothing like it. And the greens was cooked with smoked turkey. I ran across a little bone. Be careful if you feed your kids greens or whatever and they have smoked turkey. You just be careful that you uh, check it before you plate it. Because sometimes kids, they choke easily. We don't want no mishaps. I told y'all I really don't like to like to uh, Bite on peppers. I just like the juice from them. I just like the juice. The juice is good for me. I have a special, a few special birthdays today. If my baby cousin is watching, happy birthday, Vasha. If my sister is watching, happy birthday, Monica. Happy birthday from Gigi. You guys are born on Halloween. You have to share your birthday with a lot of folks. Happy birthday. You know what? Tomorrow is... November the 1st. And remember, I promised that I would start doing my Thanksgiving meal so that I can show you how to prepare some gluten-free meal uh, items to go with your Thanksgiving meal so that you won't be left out this Thanksgiving. So as promised, I will be doing that starting tomorrow. I'm making turnip greens and gluten-free cornbread. Those are the items for tomorrow. So, get your notepads and get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Mm -hmm. Please drop down in the comments and let me know what you would like to see me prepare. I have a few things in mind already. So just let me know and I will be happy to try to give you what you want. How hard could it be? Mm. I'm getting sloppy, y'all. 
When I get sloppy, that means it's getting good. That means it's delicious. I want to eat my vegetables. I need my vegetables. I'm sorry I'm doing so much eating, y'all, and not a whole lot of talking tonight. Because if you have any questions, drop down in the comments and ask me. Pretty soon, I'm going to start trying to do live videos. Y'all tell me if y'all want to see some live videos. But I, want, I don't want to do them unless I'm going to have some interaction. I want to just be sitting up here going live and not talking to nobody. But I want to go live. But I want to be talking to somebody. The holidays is very special because you get to gather and celebrate with friends, family, co-workers. So you want to be able to make some of these nice dishes and share them. There's nothing like good food, family, and fun. Warm tea. It's good. Warm tea with a little bit of honey to warm your tummy. Well, y'all, we're about to end this video, but you have something to look forward to. I will start the Thanksgiving menu on tomorrow. If you need any encouragement, you know, I tell you every day that you are beautiful inside and out. God loves you and so do I. See you on the next video.